I'll just start by saying everybody loves a freak. This guy turned, 12, uh, turned pro in 2012. Every year, Bob Lorimer calls him up and says, please, come and compete in Columbus, Ohio. This year, he did. He's from Kuwait, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mamdaw. Big. Really big. <laughs> Rami. <laughs> Elspaye. Well, there's big, there's bigger, and there's, oh, my God, it's coming this way. <laughs> All right, and that's what you got with Big Rami making his much-anticipated debut uh, in 2020 here. He took off pretty much most of last year, as we covered in the pregame. Um, but you're seeing the fruits of that effort now. The question is, is, is it going to pay off with a victory here at the Arnold? And the exciting thing for Big Rami uh, and for you fans out there is that he's now working with a new coach, Chad Nichols, who's worked from the likes of uh, from Ronnie Coleman to Nasser El Sambade to many, many, many other very big guys. Oh, and big girl. How about his wife? <laughs> uh, no stranger to the, to the Olympia title, right? He's yes. one of the best women's bodybuilders of all time. I mean, I can't quite tell yet, but I think he might be a little bit better than earlier as well. You're going to know that when he turns around. Yeah. Um, everybody looks good from the front, but... As we all know the saying, uh, bodybuilding shows are one from the back, and there's a good reason for that. And that's because it's at this pro level, again, everybody looks good from the front. Looking good from the back is an art. And we're going to see that right here. He looks sharper to me. I don't remember the hamstring being quite that deep this morning or this afternoon. Well, you still see, you still see the, the, there's just a little bit of the folds there, and I know that's your, your, your center point. You like to key on with these guys in the back, but not a lot. Uh, I think Luke's right. I think he is a little bit sharper tonight. Uh, but so far, everybody else is sharper tonight. So yeah, uh, yeah. Looks like they're zooming in a little bit more for us now, Bob. We can get a closer look at this. I think they had him in the second this morning to William Good Bonek, job. who we will see coming up uh, very soon. He's massive, isn't he? Now, Luke, could Ramy, if he dropped, and I'm just going to pick a number, you know, eight pounds, Okay, and, and came. He's got muscle to lose, he so to say. He could lose 20 Would it benefit pounds. him, in your opinion, yeah, or not? Yeah, 100%. I mean, it just goes to show. I mean, can like, you be, I hate to use it because it's bodybuilding blasphemy, but can you be too big? In some places, yeah. I mean, I, th I still think his quads are a little bit too big. I mean, this is a game of proportions at the end of the day. Look at those quads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. crazy. He, he looks like Earl Campbell back in the day. And the, see, now, now we can, they're zooming in for us, but. Yeah. Uh, what are you seeing from the back, Aaron? Yeah, now, now we're starting to see uh, up close. You can see that it's not he's not 100%, that he's still holding just a little bit. And, uh, look, he's getting everybody pumped up. People are excited. He is a freak. And like you said, Bob, they, people love freaks. You know, the lines in his quads, you're seeing a little bit more, I feel like, than this morning. Yeah, he's yeah. like he's about 5% sharper. Yeah. They're so big, it's like uh, they're like a, a tumor, you know. They're so <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> uh, a tumor. he may be five percent sharper, but so far, Dexter's five percent sharper, and we haven't seen William Bonac yet, who is yeah. Mr. Consistent. Uh, we haven't seen William coming off yet. It, so, well, I mean, I wonder if like the game plan with Rami, if if, if all out condition is the game plan, thank you, big because Rami, be, yeah, definitely should yeah, be because if everyone is telling them that, why do it, do it, come on, come on. <laughs> 